Here is how you'd prove the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic series. So first we can, what is an arithmetic series? It's when you have a starting number, a, and then for every term, you add on a common difference, which we call d. So the first three terms, you're going to have a, a plus d, a plus 2d. The fourth term is going to be a plus three lots of d. Now this will carry on. So the n minus 1 term will be a plus n minus 2 lots of d. And the nth term will be a plus n minus 1 lots of d. So if we call the sum of this series Sn, then to find the sum of this series, all we need to do is add up every term. So a plus a plus d. Let's put brackets around each term just to make it more clear what we're adding. A plus 2d. And this, you'll carry this on all the way to the last term, which is going to be a plus n minus 1 lots of d. Now, what we're going to do may look a bit strange why we're doing it now, but you'll see the reason for it later. So we're just going to rewrite this sum again. However, we're going to write it backwards. So the first term is going to be a plus n minus 1 lots of d. Then you're going to have a plus n minus 2 lots of d plus a plus n minus 3 lots of d. And this is going to carry on with the last term just being a. Now, if we add these two series together, so add them together, we are going to get two lots of Sn, two lots of this series, is going to be equal to, so what, the, what is the first term? We're doing a add a plus n minus 1 lots of d. So we're going to get 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d. The second is going to be 2a plus n minus 2 lots of d plus d is again n minus 1 lots of d. The third term is going to be 2a again. Now we have n minus 3 lots of d plus 2d, which is again going to be n minus 1 lots of d. And this is going to carry on all the way to the end, which is again going to be 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d. So now we can tidy this up. So 2sn is equal to, as we can see, we're getting the same term multiple times. How many times are we getting this same term? We're actually getting n times. So we can just factorize this, right? n lots of 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d. Now we can get to the answer we want very quickly just by dividing both sides by 2 so we're going to get Sn is equal to n over 2 lots of 2a plus n minus 1 lots of d, which is just the answer we wanted. So there you go.